Hey everyone, welcome back to a new sewing video. I know it's been a while, but I'm excited to share a new tutorial with you. I've been seeing a lot of cargo skirts on my TikTok and Instagram lately, and I thought, why not try making my own? I have some old pants at home that I don't wear anymore, and I thought this would be great to start off with as a base for a skirt. If you're curious on how I made this, and if you also want to turn your old denim or cargo pants into skirts, then keep on watching. Here's what I used. First of all, a pair of old pants that still fits you, some thread in the same color as the fabric, a pair of fabric scissors or just anything that can cut fabric, a seam ripper, this is a must. If you don't have one, you can get it for super cheap at your local market or fabric store or just online. This is optional, but you can use a fabric crayon to mark cutting lines on your fabric. This is also optional, but I do recommend to use it and that's a steamer or an iron. Some pins to pin folded fabric. And last but not least, a sewing machine. I'm currently using the Singer 4411 Heavy Duty and I've been loving it since I got it. It's great for beginners and I think it's pretty affordable for what you get. And now we're gonna start the tutorial. The first step I always like to do is to deconstruct. Here I am drawing the pens as how they are and here I am starting to draw the design that we're gonna make. If you take off all the seams of your pants, you will notice that the crotch area has some extra fabric. This extra fabric we will lay flat, turn it to the side, and then stitch around the edges to create a perfect flat surface for the skirt without having any weird bumps around the crotch area. For the leg area, there will be a front and a back split, but the front split we're gonna close. And to close this gap, we will cut off a bit of the length of the pants and use this fabric to seal the front. And don't worry if you don't fully understand it now, I will guide you throughout the whole tutorial and get more in depth on this. The back split we will leave open so you have room to walk for your legs. This will be the plan to turn your pants into a skirt. If you want, you can pause the video here to have a look on the sketches. Step 2 is to rip off the inseam. The inseam from your pants is the length from your crotch area to the bottom of the leg. First, you want to flip your pants inside out. And here you can see the inseam that we're gonna rip off. So what you'll need to do is to get your seam ripper and rip off all the seams around this area. Here you can see up close how I'm gonna rip the seams. You basically just want to go underneath the seam and then go through it with your seam ripper and the seam will automatically rip off. Just be careful to not poke through your fabric because this can happen easily. You can do this step behind your desk or you can also get comfortable on your couch while watching TV and doing this step. Once you're done ripping all the inseam of your pants, you will have something like this. Step 3 is to mark your skirt length. Try on the pants and see how long you want the skirt to be. Do you want a mini cargo skirt, a midi skirt, or a maxi skirt? Feel free to pick your own desired length and mark where you want your skirt to end. For this tutorial, I went for a midi skirt and here I am drawing the cutting line with the fabric crayon. I used measuring tape when I tried on the pants to check the length I want to cut off. You can also use a piece of string to measure the length you want to cut off by holding it and lay it down on your pants. Step 4 is to flatten the crotch area. To prevent any bumps around this area, you want to flatten out this area by either steaming it or ironing it. You can also try to pin it if you don't have a steamer or an iron, but I do recommend steaming it or ironing it to make things easier for you. Here I am holding the crotch area in place as how I want it, and then take my steamer and steam this whole area. If the split is too high, you can pull the fabric of both sides a bit more together. This will make your split lower, but do have in mind when you do this, the skirt will also fit a bit tighter around the tie area. 
Also, don't worry much about the split because we will cut off a bit of the length and the leftover part you can use to cover the split. If you're making a maxi skirt, I would suggest to have the split at least somewhere below the crotch area to cover your private part. If you're happy with the positions, then you can take some pins and then you can pin it until the opening of the split. Once you've pinned everything in place, it's time to sew everything together. Here I am showing you where to sew. It's basically around the edges and I'm also trying to mimic how the original pants were sewn to keep the sewing lines consistent with the whole pants. Here I am sewing around the edges of the crotch area all the way down to the split. Once you're done sewing, it will look something like this. Step 5 is to repeat the same process but then on the back. It's almost exactly the same with the crotch area. So here I am positioning the crotch area, steam it and then pin it. Here I am repositioning the split again and then steam it and then pin everything in place. And if you're happy with how everything looks, then you're gonna stitch the edges of the crotch area all the way down to the split like we did in the previous step. Once you're done sewing, it will look something like this. And you can already see that it's gonna become a skirt. Step 6 is to cut off the bottom. We marked our cutting lines in the previous steps and now it's time to cut off the length. You can also already try on the skirt and see if you still like the length of the skirt. If you're dabbing, you can still decide whether you want the skirt to be a bit longer or a bit shorter. If you're done deciding, then you can cut off the length. Step 7 is to close the front split. And we're also almost coming to an end already. For the front split, we're gonna close it with the leftover fabric that you just cut off. Turn your pants inside out, take your leftover fabric and place it in front of the split. Trace a line around the split area and make sure to leave some space for some seam allowance. Seam allowance is the area between the fabric edge and the stitching line. After tracing a cutting line, take your fabric scissors and cut it out. If you want to cut symmetrically, you can fold the fabric and make sure the top of the triangle is in the middle. Then cut when it's folded and you will have a symmetrical triangle. Once you've cut it, flip your skirt to the outside area, place the fabric underneath the split, then pin around the split area and continue sewing from where you left at the split all the way down on both sides. After you sewed both sides, flip the skirt inside out again, cut off any extra fabric and clean up the edges with a zigzag stitching line to prevent shredding. This is optional though, but if you know how the zigzag stitching line works on your sewing machine, then I would suggest do it. Once you're done sewing, it will look something like this. Step 8 is to finalize the back split. Flip your skirt back to the outside part and then sew two lines from the split all the way down to both sides. Once you're done sewing, the back will look something like this. And the last step is to finalize the bottom. In this step, we're gonna make a clean bottom area. I'm flipping the bottom inside one or two centimeters, then steam it, and then I repeat it on the back as well.
and then after I repeat the same process so we have a clean look from the inside and the outside. And sew one straight line around the bottom to stitch everything together. And that's basically it. You can try on the skirt and see if you want to make any other adjustments. I noticed that my back split was a bit too small, so I decided to rip off some seams at the back and stitch it down on both sides like how I did before. And here is our finished product. I really like how it turned out. There's more than enough room to walk when wearing the skirt and there are no weird bumps sticking out. Feel free to add any extra pockets or add a drawstring at the bottom of the skirt to make it more cinched or just anything you like and want. The fun part is that you can be as creative as you want when sewing something like this. Plus, we made a new product out of something old which allows you to make the most use out of a garment. I hope you like this video and let me know what you would like to see next. Good luck and see you in my next video. Don't get comfortable, look I don't dance now, I make money move Say I don't gotta dance, I make money move If I see you now speak, that means I don't fuck with you I'm a boss, who I work a bitch, I make bloody moves